Hello again. Last time we saw some Baroque music. Today we're gonna see some late Romantic music by the French composer Théodore Dubois. As you can probably see, I am not playing the organ, it is Luciano Zecca on the organ and the reason why I'm showing you this video is because um, Dubois was mainly an organ composer. In fact, the piece that I'm going to be performing for you today is actually an arrangement made for violin and organ uh, of his Cantilene Religieuse. Theodore Dubois' music is nowadays vastly unknown, unless you play the organ. But actually he had a very interesting life. He, he took over the jobs of Caesar Frank and Camille Sanson as an organist in different cathedrals uh, in France. And also from 1896 to 1905, he was the director of the Paris Conservatoire. As the director of the Paris Conservatoire, he was rather mm, conservative. He didn't like the modern music of the time, which was Wagner and um, Debussy. In fact, he forbade his students go see the premiere of Debussy's uh, operas. And he had to step down as director of the conservatoire because he tried to make Ravel lose a competition. Nowadays, two of his counterpoint and harmony treaties are still used, which denote a very conservative view on music. This, however, doesn't mean that his music wasn't fascinating and, in my opinion, inspirational. I would like to share a couple of thoughts on how to play with an organ. Playing with a pipe organ is a challenge. There are not many pieces for violin and organ, probably because of the challenge of the volume. The pipe organ is the biggest musical instrument and a violin is rather small, so the volume that a pipe organ can produce is vastly bigger than the volume that violin can produce. It is also a challenge because of the mechanics of the organ. The organ works with registers, which means that the keys, once played, are going to produce one sound, one chosen sound at a time. So if the organist wants to play softer, they have to either change the manual, so the keyboard they are playing on, or in very quickly change the register. There are also many kind of organs. In this case, I'm gonna be performing with a pneumatic organ. In a pneumatic organ, when the organist plays the key, a pad of air is raised, which allows the flow of air into the pipe. This also means that there is a lag between the pressing of the key and the producing of the sound. So the organist must be very careful when playing with other people, as they have to play a split second before the beat. It was, however, a pleasure to play with an organ. That rich variety of sounds really makes me understand why Mozart named the organ the king of instruments, and why so many composers were actually organists. These composers were, for instance, Johann Sebastian Bach, Händel, Rheinberger, Sensong, Frank, Duca, Bruckner, Messiaen, Brahms, Mendelssohn, Verdi, and even Liszt. In fact, Liszt used to play organ in the Budapest synagogue during the Sabbath. Without any further ado, please enjoy Cantilene Religieuse by Theodore Dubois and organist Bastian Ulich. 